Oh, hey everyone. So have you noticed that there's this trend now of removing the sexy from women? A kind of desexification, if you will. Hot chicks in revealing clothing can't be grid girls or ring girls because some bullshit about society exploiting women's beauty for financial gain. Even though these women are exercising their freedom, choosing to take on these jobs of their own free will. Beauty pageants are removing bikinis and formal wear in a bit to focus less on fucking beauty and more on how well a bitch can answer questions on politics and social inclusion. Do you think political correctness is hurting or helping this country and why? That's a very good question. <laughs> I think that it's a balance of both. Um, we definitely need... I'm sorry. Will you please repeat the question once more? What I would do to improve race relations in the U.S. is get more races grouped together and be able to be with each other in a, in a non... Let's see. I think what we need to do is bring... <laughs> we need to be more accepting of each other and we need to bring people together. That's what I think we need to do. I sometimes think that we're using this facade of patriarchy and exploitation as a mask to hide the fact that ugly feminist whales are just getting their dried up vaginas in a jealous fit over men not noticing their unfeminine hairy man bodies. One particular movement which has made its rounds now for many years in the feminist circle is hair. Hair under the arms, hairy legs, lady moustaches and even hairy tits. Oh, I know beauty is subjective, but those tits are fucked. Like, fully fucked. Do those boobs do it for you, Bering? No. Well, I'm no stranger to a hairy bear suit. But you won't hear me banging on about how much I celebrated and how you should just shut the fuck up and find my hairy twat sexy because it's a sexist standard that oppresses women. But in this culture of bullshit victim status where shaming is a hate crime and pride signalling becomes an opportunity for annoying as fuck whales to bellow out moral high ground harpy anthems, we see more and more things like this. Women's Razor Company makes history to be the first to show female Male body hair in its ads. No, 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 no. She asked me why. You mean if I'm homosexual or something like that? Yeah. I'm just a hairy guy. The advert not only wants to make you confront the fact that women have hair before shaving, but it goes above and beyond when they force upon your eyeballs the uncomfortable sight of a woman with what looks like a Middle Eastern man's snail trail leading into her box area. In an advertising first, a razor company is challenging the norm simply by showing women's body hair in its ads. Project Body Hair by American company Billy is hoping the campaign will tackle the taboo and reduce the number of ads that repeatedly show women waxing or shaving already fuzz-free areas. Dude looks like a lady. Like a lady. Who that is? Oh, that girl is a tomboy. Um, um, um. 
it's a guarantee that he won't forget me. My body little, my soul is heavy. My little titties be booking cities all around the world. The dude looks like a lady. Be with me, I'm a Calvin Klein model. Come and get me, set the resi up. Don't be with, with me. My little titties are so itty bitty. I go locomotive, chitty chitty, bang bang. Go hoops and that name chain. Ten boots are like four rings. Dude looks like a lady. Missy Elliott can't stand the rain. You lame playing the same games. Who that is, ho? That girl is a tomboy. That girl is a tomboy. Who that is? That girl is a dude. Looks like a lady. The Project Body Hair website is inviting women to make the internet a little fuzzier by proudly sharing their hairy pictures. And boy, did they! And the pride spewed forth in the form of snail trails and welcome mats. What's up, B? We getting ready to hunt. She pulled my underwear down. He talking about, what's that? I said, what's what? He said, what's that in your drawers? I said, bitch, that's a, that's a snail trail. He's like, I don't know about all that. Bitch, that's motherfucking natural. I had to school this dumb ass. My like, bitch, you ain't say nothing when you was eating a motherfucker. Bitch, if you drop your drawers, you should have a little snail trail in your drawers. A little something in your drawers. Nigga, tell me, what the fuck is that, bitch? Bitch, that's a, that's a snail trail. And turn around and oh, pull the back up. I can see your welcome mat. Um, I don't have a welcome mat. You do, it, but it why didn't you get it lasered when they did your tash? Holy shit, Bering. Does that woman on the right remind you of someone? With... splinters? <laughs> Women are loving the campaign and have praised the company for the positive movement. Oh, that's right. This company is so down with the female equality shit that they've even introduced a pink tax rebate. See, they feel bad that you were too much of a dumb fuck to buy the cheaper blue ones because you needed to have the pretty feminine pink ones, which, by the way, goes against the whole bullshit about making the colours blue and pink non-gendered. You didn't understand how women buy into the whole pretty packaging and extra sweet scents that cause products to become more expensive. When you're shaving your snail trail in Muff Canyon, you should be able to use the pretty pink razor with extra safe feminine blades that can navigate around the ridges of your meat curtains and know that you didn't have to pay a whole 80 cents more for the experience. Nothing is more beautiful than the natural body. This is so empowering for many of those who think girls should do a thing with their bodies just because the society says so. Well, that's just beautiful. You know, you're right. There really is nothing more beautiful than the natural body. Like warts. And herpes. And scrot rot. And hairy bitches.